Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided I would answer the most asked question on this channel and that is how I got rid of my acne. So for all the people who must have been subscribed to me recently in the past maybe 6-7 months or or maybe even a year may think that my skin has been this clear always or maybe I have always had clear skin but that has not been the case. Everybody who's been subscribed to me from the very beginning or has seen my earlier videos may know that I had a serious acne issue in the beginning. Uh, when I started my YouTube channel I actually had a full blown bout of hormonal cystic acne. Now um, a lot of y'all comment on every video even if it's not skincare related saying that share your skincare routine and uh, how do you get clear skin, are you doing any supplements, are you taking facials, therapies, what not. I get all sorts of questions related to my skin and so I decided I would make this dedicated video answering the one most asked question uh, and that is how I got rid of my acne. So. Um, to make things very very clear, you need to know that when you have that sort of acne issue, I'm going to leave a picture of very very graphic image of how my acne looked uh, some one year back, uh, I think that was in my second year, yeah, so in my second year, so it was one year back, this is how my acne looked, it was very very horrible, my skin state was very bad, but still I was somehow dealing with it externally, trying to do different sorts of things for my skin externally and it was not this type of acne is not really a skin reaction or a skin allergy or something that it just fades away you know you have different different types of pimples and acne some get those small red dots which may be dandruff related you know when you get it on your forehead and your back it may be dandruff related which is something my sister suffered from uh, what I had was more hormonal related which took me a while to understand so initially even before this before I started YouTube, I had this bout of acne and we somehow figured it out over time that it was because of my hormones and imbalance in my hormones which was causing this. So my dermatologist put me on uh, drugs which cured it, like totally totally cured it and then when I phased off the drugs, I took them for a good one year and when I phased off the drugs, they re, like they re -occurred. So in my first video on YouTube, there are no acne but then over time it reoccurs because I stopped taking those medications we were trying to see if it you know has subsided the hormones are back in place but they were not so I went uh, back again on the pill and very much so it was because of the hormones because the minute I start taking those pills within 20 days my skin is clear now I'm not naming the medication online on the internet because the internet can be very tricky people might just go out there and buy it saying it cleared my acne so it will clear yours so I'm not going to mention the name of the drug right here and please don't take guesses in the comment sections asking me are you on this, are you on this, are you on this I'm not going to answer to such questions because if I wanted you all to play the guessing game I would have just named the drug over here. I don't want you all to take the same drug as me because everybody can have a different issue. Yes, I do have PCOS, I do have polycystic ovarian disorder, but mine is more related to my hormones and not more gynecologically related. Now TMI, I've always had very regular periods, like even before the whole hormonal acne issue, I had really, really, really regular cycle, like it would be perfect, I would never miss a single month. So I never thought I would get PCOS because the whole uh, idea behind PCOS was that it's related to your period. So even though I had that very, very horrible acne looking face, I never thought I needed to go ahead for all those set of uh, hormone blood tests and the ultrasound. And uh, later on, after like trying different different types of medications with my dermat, we realized that nothing is working. We did a lot of cleanups. We kept clearing the acne, but it kept reoccurring. And then we got onto doing those tests and realized it's way out of balance. I had gained a lot of weight. I was like what 90 kgs at that time. But I always thought it was because of stress eating, and I used to eat a lot. So. All of that maybe led to the hormonal imbalance or maybe PCOS is a lifestyle disorder so it was because of that but after I started taking those pills everything became better, my skin became better, my uh, body weight started reducing, I was exercising along with that but it helps you reduce your body weight. If your hormones are all in check it helps your metabolism go hand in hand with that so it just overall benefited me. Now it may not be the same case with you because I have like what 10 friends and all of them have PCOS like my entire group of girlfriends has PCOS but none of us have the same kind like 
One of my friends will have irregular periods. I have the acne issue. One of them has a hair fall issue. So everybody has a different issue because everybody's hormones are different. Like there are a set of sex hormones and in me androgens and prolactin is what is high and very much out of balance. But in my next friend it may not be the same. So doing the full examination, meeting a proper doctor, knowing what is the cause of your acne is very important. Today I've been taking those drugs for a good three years, counting before YouTube. So three years with the six month gap I gave in between when I had the reoccurrence of the acne. And uh, yeah, my acne is at bay. I get a regular, like when I'm getting my period, I get like one or two zit, but it goes away. So it leaves like a little bit of scarring. And yes, I take care of the scarring with the Body Shop Katri Oil. Right now, I have no makeup on my skin. You can see it's cleared up totally. I do not get acne anymore because my acne was totally hormone related. I personally am still like, what, in my 20s, so I've not really discovered a cure for PCOS or anything. It is a lifestyle disorder. You're not supposed to modify your lifestyle, but honestly speaking, we live in the city and when you need medication, you need medication. No matter what you put on your skin, no matter what skincare routine you use, no matter how expensive products you use, your skin will not really glow or show everything unless you're internally like balanced. Because all of what shows on your skin is what your internal system is like. So that's why when I started taking those medications and everything became settled, that is when I started taking care of my acne scarring with the Body Shop Tea Tree Oil and that is a separate video on my channel. So I will leave that video below. My skincare routine is exactly the same. I use very very inexpensive products. You don't really need to use very expensive things for your skin to glow to be very honest. I use what is affordable because you have to keep repurchasing skincare and I'm so so OCD about my skincare that I don't really like switching up. I'm like right now I've been trying acids on my skin like AHA, BHA, glycolic acid. I've never really tried all this before so I'm seeing how it reacts with my skin before I give you all a full uh, view or review on that. But as for how I treated my hormonal acne, it's a hormonal issue so I treated it by balancing out my hormones. Please don't guess which medications I take in the comment section. Go meet a dermatologist is all I tell anybody who asks me how you treated your acne. Go meet a dermatologist. Find out what is the cause. It could be anything. It could be dandruff. It could be obesity. It could be maybe a genetic thing. It could be your hormones. It could be so many things. And there will be a different drug for everybody out there. Not, not the same drug will help you. So that's why I don't want to mention it. Uh, I will leave the details of my dermatologist in the description section. He's not very expensive. He's great. He's a doctor at Nanavati Hospital. He's the head of skin at Nanavati. So he's really, really good and uh, he's not even very expensive. So you can go meet him if you're in this Ville Parle Antheri kind of area. Uh, or not, if you, even if you're not, you can just go to a very good dermatologist who will give you a proper view about your skin. So I think that is it. I just wanted to tell you all this. One more thing I really, really want to emphasize is on living with acne can be really tough. I have lived with it for a very long time. I've been called upon it for very long. Like I've had boys make fun of it. I've had teachers come and tell me like do something about this. Like, like I remember one very clear cut scene where my teacher in college came and told me like do something about this. I never had acne back in my day and I just went like good for you. Like you didn't have an issue good for you. Uh, like, uh, you know, so you will get people telling you all sorts of things about your skin, about how your acne looks, how ugly you look, or I've, I've heard it all, you know, at this point I've heard it all. So you just need to be very, very confident with your skin. I went with that skin to college, you've seen my skin, I went with that skin to college, I did YouTube with that skin. I was literally starting a beauty YouTube channel with cystic acne on my face because that is very, very normal. I want you all to know that acne is very normal. Even girls suffer from it, even boys suffer from it, my own brother suffers from it and they don't really, they can't really take pills the way we can and stop it. So they have it even tougher. So yeah, you just need to be very confident when you're dealing with acne. You cannot let anybody's opinion uh, govern how you feel about yourself. Uh, take proper treatment for it. Don't think that you're going to buy a 1500 rupees toner or a 1500 rupees even that body shop tea tree oil. I always tell the tea tree oil serum, I always tell people that it's only to be used once you've dealt with your acne because that serum does have alcohol in it so it can like sting your acne a little bit and aggravate it and we don't really want that. So you use that once you've dealt with your acne so that only the scars can be taken care of. And 
and it beautifully takes care of your scars. That's something I have on my skin even right now, so it gives you a nice glow. And then I have my Sebamed moisturizer. Uh, you need to give things time for it to like really really work on your skin. So people message me literally after a week and be like it's doing nothing. Wait, use it for a month and then come back to me because a lot of people have DM me positive things about that serum and I'm so happy it's worked for so many of y'all. I will leave my skincare routine video also down below and I'm going to up, uh, do an updated skincare routine with a little bit of acid involvement that I've started now. But honestly, my skincare routine is not so relevant to y'all. Honestly speaking, y'all can use it as a reference, but it's not what is helping my skin. It helps my skin get nourished, stay moisturized, stay nice and glowy, but it's not what has gotten rid helped me get rid of my acne. So I hope I made myself very, very clear in this video. I hope you all got a lot of insight from this video. And yes, I will leave all the details of my dermatologist about all the videos I've made reference to in the description section. So I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on that bell icon so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. And hit the like button if you actually did like this video and found it what relatable. And uh, leave your comments down below. Let's have a good acne chat like we do it almost all of my videos. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys. Love you all. Mwah.